Hey, it's Collector Dude. I'm back with another haul video. I picked up a few more books from um, Half Price Books. I went there yesterday on a Saturday and everything. I had, I was going to one and I ended up at a different one. I'm thinking, how did I get how did I get on the road to go to this one? And I'm glad I did. I got a few different books that were cool. So I'll try to go to the other one that I was going to go to because I try to mix them up because if you wait a little bit, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. They'll get a new few books out. At different ones and you'll find some really great stuff so let's get into this so make sure um keep the video short and you can uh go watch some other videos and you'll hopefully you'll enjoy what i picked up i saw i found the a-team it was like the first four i think it's first four issues of the original story and i thought this was cool it was like no the first three issues and they had it here it was like the a-team one through three I'm not sure if there's more or not. I think there's only three, but we'll see. There may be more. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I can go check. But here's 18 number one. When I saw it, I said, five bucks, I'll grab them all. <laughs> I thought it was cool. And it looks like the characters, too. The artwork's really nice in it. So that's number one. Here's number two. And here's number three. I like to do a flip through of these. These would be funny. And then I saw this. I passed this up before, City of Bane, number 82. I passed it up before, and I'm thinking, I really like the cover, but I was like, ah, I got some other stuff. I don't want to get this right now. But I should have got it because it looks like it's going for a little bit of money. And plus, it's an awesome cover. It's, I think this is Stephen Platt. Or no, it looks like Stephen Platt, but it's Finch. I paid $1.99 for this. But it's a really nice cover. This, this thing lifts off, and there's a picture of Batman underneath it. I might as well show it to you. But um, here's the cover. It's got like a a plastic acetate cover. Here's Batman. But see, the f the front has Bane on there. And then you lift this off. You lift it off like that, and it's just got the shape of him. But it's got uh, Batman in the background, like he's controlling him, or Thomas Wayne. So thought that was cool. Nice cover. And we put it back. But uh oh yeah, and also on the back here, this is cool on the back of it. You remove for the Batman Dam thing video, and then you go, you see that. So it's really cool. I always like these acid covers, they always do something special and they're kind of cool. Okay, now I saw this too. It's more of the Bane story. That was 82. I got 83. I mean, because I didn't read the story, so I'm gonna read it now. Got them all for half off the cover. This was $249. Here's $84. And I got this for $249. And here's $85. Got this for uh $299. Because it's a little bit more money. Really nice covers. Then I found these. These from Round Press, Battlestar Galactica number one. It's painted covers. They look really nice in there. I remember watching the show. I loved it. And then the new version with the girl in the red dress, that was cool. That was, I watched it. It was just. It was weird. Some of the stuff that they did, and you're like, and the, the the hard relationships and the the action and the just the way they acted and just the different stuff, the twist and it, the turns, and when you found out the different things about the girl in the red dress and then the the other girl that uh, didn't want to be what she was, and and she found out she was, and you're like, what? But you like stories like that. It's just it's good. So here's number two, and number three, this was a cool cover, this is number three, and these are supposed to be like season three, I noticed, it's like season three written on there, and this was about a Star Galactica special edition, and it's got Apollo on the front. And this is like another. I thought this was a different. <clears throat> thought this was a different book, but it isn't. It's uh, the same book, but it's just got a different cover for it. So thought it was cool. Then I got this, and I wasn't sure about it. I said I didn't read the story, but I'm gonna get this. And I said, no, I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not. And I checked the price of it, and it's going for a little bit of money. So I grabbed it. Road to Empire number one, and it was two forty nine. It depends on where you go. I'm not sure. I, I got to go through that. I want to read this. I want to read these. Lately, I'm getting the bug. I want to just read more of my comic books that I have. This was cool, too. This, I think, because I checked it, I think this is the Walmart version. But I'm not sure where you look to find out because there was another one 
uh, in there that looked like a Walmart version too. I, I was looking online to find them and I saw them on eBay and they, and they matched the way they looked. So I said, okay, maybe this is a Walmart version as well because a lot of stuff was getting put out like in the same group. And I was looking, I said, found all the Batman together and found the, um, the A-Team and the uh, Battlestar Galactic together. And a, it was a bunch of other new stuff that I didn't get. So when I saw this one, I said, maybe this is because it was next to the other one. So I said, maybe it is. Spider-Man, Spider-Woman number one. This was $249. I'm not sure if you can tell if it's a, if it's a Walmart cover. But I looked at the back um, ICBM cover or ICBM number. And it matched the one that was on eBay. So I'm thinking maybe it is a Walmart version from the back. This is Supergirl number 40. I thought it was cool. It's $249. I like the cover. And then I got another one of these. I'm going to have to probably use one of these for a giveaway pretty soon. And I might have used it already. Star Wars number one, $249. Then I got this. This is seventh printing, Strange Academy number one. That's cool. Like I said, I wish when I came out, I wish I'd have ordered more. I knew something was special about it, and I didn't get it. So, I, and I'm going to be doing a lot of that. Like I said, if I look at something and go, you know what? I think I'm going to get a bunch of those and use them for prizes and gifts. And if it's if it's worth something, good. Then you'll get a really a, get a book that's worth something. If it's not, I'll just have multiples of it and I'll give them away as prizes. Here's Strike Force number one. I'd like to cover because it's Mike Diodato. Dollar ninety nine. Mike Diodato Junior. You know what that reference is? Let me know. Junior. That was a good movie. One ninety nine, but it's not. The name is different though. You know. Uh, Year of the Villain number eighty two. Wonder Woman number 82. It's got Cheetah on the front, and I like the cover, so I grabbed this one. And it's one of those acetate covers. So you know what? I gotta I gotta show you. So here's this. There's the back. I can see you see the back. Same as before. In the front, this one's different. You take this one and you move Cheetah out of the way, and you got one of them. So, cool. Artwork's not bad either. So that'll be an interesting read too. Put the cover on this one. I got one last book to show you. So, well, kept it pretty quick. This one I saw it and I saw it was lenticular. So I said, let me grab it because I love lenticular covers. It's just cool. Dollar ninety nine. This was un astonishing X Men number one. No, number seven. Number seven. He's got a seven up there. So you got them looking like this in their uniforms and costumes and stuff. And then you got them here out of the uniforms and costumes. So it just changed that way. I got the glare on there. Very cool. So I thought that was cool. But I love these covers. Awesome. But that's it. That's what I have. I'm posting, I'm putting a video up now. I'm, I'm trying to upload it now. I'm, I'm using my phone to record this one. But I was uploading a video for Image Comics previews for August for everything coming out in like October, November and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to break it up into two or three parts and go to Dark Horse and do a lot of stuff because I'm trying to keep up with them and everything. I love going through those books because you see what's coming out and you get a heads up on stuff. I like to do one. I should do one of uh, my iPad and go through Midtown Comics previews because they got a lot of books too. I just went online and I'm ordering all the uh, books that I don't have from uh, Alex Ross's uh, Timeless covers. You saw the other ones that I have. Now I have the Fantastic Fours coming from MyComicShop.com because I didn't get them on Midtown. And then I see just now Ghost Rider and um, what's the other one? I got another one on there that I didn't get. Doctor Strange from uh, Midtown Comics. But I got some of the other ones all in a bunch from them already that were um, the Beast and Angel and all these other ones. I got them all ordered, pre-ordered them like last month. So they're going to be sending them out soon too. But I love those books. Love the covers and everything. Just awesome. When you see them all together, they're just beautiful artwork. But everybody knows you like, when you look at the stuff, it's just Alex is just amazing how he does this stuff. But that's it. But thank you very much for watching. Go join my contest. Enter the contest. Put your name in there. Like the video. They got a match everything with the comments and look so far they're going that doing that way i got over 700 subscribers now i'm going to give away those three books go join that contest check out my other videos my car video to see the, uh, the new orange crush camaro that i just got i traded my blue one in i loved it and awesome for three years and i got a new one an orange crush color 
but the other one was hyper blue and this one's orange crush i go over it real quick just to show you the different things about it if you want to ask me any questions about it ask me in the comments or you can email me and ask me about it or something or you can go on twitter or uh here's my email or gmail address you can go on twitter or instagram or something like that i'm gonna try to put some stuff on instagram and twitter just to talk about the car and other stuff and i put something on facebook i made a facebook collector dude page so i entered my contest on there as well i'll try to put some comic books and other things on that as well so but that's all i have but thank you very much for watching you guys have a great day um enjoy your uh, the rest of your day your weekend and everything like that it's, it's gonna be over and we gotta go back to work tomorrow and have fun at work <laughs> i hope all right you guys have a great day and collect the dudes out <laughs>